Hello, US Roofing. This is Joel from JND SEO. I talked to you guys on the phone today and I told you I'd send this over. So I'm just going to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. Now, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste mine. So I'll try to be as quick as possible. At the end of this video, if you guys are interested in hearing more information, let's set up a call and see if it's a good fit for us to work together. If not, no harm, no foul. Just take the tips that I do give you and you guys can apply them yourself. All right, so the first thing we'll talk about today is content. So I'm on your homepage, US Roofing, and you guys do have some content under your services and you do list everything that you guys do, so that's good. Ideally, we'd wanna see even more content than this. The more content you have on your homepage, the more space that gives you to put more keyword searches on there. So those are what you're going to be found for in a typical Google search, such as Roofing, Peabody, MA. So the first thing you're gonna see is the ad section. These are the new Google guaranteed ads. And with these ones, you're supposed to get more qualified uh, links or more qualified people coming through there. So you should get less tire kickers. And then you have kind of the typical ads here. Under the ad section, you're going to find the map section. So this is going to give you the top three companies based purely on citations. So the first one here is US Roofing. So that's you guys, so great job with that. What that tells me is that you guys have some citations or at least some strong ones in place already. Citations are anywhere on the internet where you guys have your business name, business address, and business phone number. So not all citations are created equal. Citations within your industry or related will be much stronger than one that is completely unrelated. And you can get this information listed in directory sites such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, and Home Advisor. So under the map section, we have the organic results. This is where you find the actual companies uh, and their websites. You do have some like Yelp in here, some directory sites, Home Advisor. So next thing I'm going to do is take, and you guys are the first one that shows up in the organic section too, so that's awesome. So I'm going to take your website and put it into a program called Eris that kind of tells me what's going on with your site. If you think of the internet as a popularity contest, then you know the more votes you have, the more traffic you're going to get, the more visitors you'll get to your page. So you guys have 237 referring domains, that's 237 other sites basically sending you back 515 links to your page. And you guys are being searched for over 500 keywords, we'll say 578, and that is, it looks like you picked up seven recently, and that's driving about 117 people to your site every month. The other thing we can do is kind of scroll down here and see your Arabs rank has been declining a little bit in the last few months. However, your referring domains had dropped, but it looks like that it's climbing up here and now you guys are higher than you were before. All right, so let's look at a few of your keywords and see what you guys are being found for currently. All right, so this is really good. You have your business name, US Roofing, and then you have your location there. So that's awesome. That is like an ideal scenario. Because a lot of people just will have their business name, but if it doesn't have the location, it's not as strong. So there's 40 people searching that a month, and you guys are in the top position. You're number one. So when someone searches this, they find you. And that's what you ideally want, because you, uh, if someone's going to search your name, they obviously know of you, or maybe they you know, heard your name from someone else that used you guys and liked you, gave you a positive review but maybe they didn't have your contact info. So you don't, you don't want to lose referral business or customers you already have. So that's good that you're number one for that. Now, emergency roofing, that's a strong uh, customer kind of indicator because if someone puts in emergency roofing, clearly they need a roofer now. The only thing with this search term is that it doesn't have a location attached. So this is a national search. You're going to get people from all over the U.S. with this one. And even though it does have a pretty high volume, 100, you guys are number five for that. So it's good that you're on the first page still about the middle and you know top five is good I recommend being in the top three for all searches and that's going to drive more traffic and business to your site so if this would be even stronger if it was emergency roofing uh, Peabody MA and then we have US roofing we have your location again so that's the same as the first one and let's see if we can find a couple more the more of these kind of locations that you can get locked down this is good too it doesn't have mass on it there's 10 people search that you number one um, the, so the more locations you kind of lock down that you guys do service, 
then you know that's going to drive more traffic to you. So this is a good one too, Roofing Companies MA. So it is all of MA. So if you service all of MA, that's perfect. If you don't, then you might get some people who obviously, you know, you cannot help. Um, but we do have 100 people searching that. You guys are number 11. So that puts you up at the top of the second page. And you have dropped two spots recently. It might mean that somebody else has, you know, increased kind of their search engine, uh, you know, keywords. Or it could be that some of your referring domains have dropped off. All right, guys. So I've shown you a little bit today about content. And actually, let's just compare real quick one of your competitors. So I grabbed Aspen Roofing. They were ranked, I think, right behind you guys. And so they have 45 referring domains with 129 backlinks, about 38 keywords, but they are getting 197 people to their site uh, per month. And you can see that the plus 188, they've got a lot of those in the last month. So they must have just probably recently maybe added some SEO and some keywords to their site to get that. So let's take a look at some of their keywords and see what they're being searched for. All right, so their business name, like I said, Aspen Roofing, a lot of times you see it like this. Still powerful. They're getting a lot of volume off that. However, you know, unless they're you know nationwide and they're all over the place, they're going to get some people that they probably can't help. This is stronger, having their location attached. Another 50, 60 there. Number five, number eight. So on the first page, but towards the bottom. This is a really good one. It has your location. It's 10 people, so it's not a ton, but they are number four. Aspen MA, that's still good because it's got Massachusetts at least. 90 people search that and they're 15 to so the middle of the second page. So again, ideally you want to be on the first page and you want to be top three. And the reason for that is because if you're a new customer and you don't know the business name, if it was just like roofing, like this one here, then um, you know, you're not going to be looking for a name. You're probably going to look at the top three results or at least the first page and you're probably going to compare some of the reviews. All right, guys, that's a little bit about content, citations, and backlinks. If you guys are interested in hearing more, I'd love to talk to you guys a little more about what we could possibly do. This is my contact information. Um, you know, I look forward to hearing from you guys. If, again, you're not, take the information I gave you, and you guys can apply it yourself. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. I look forward to hearing from you.